Uh, Joe, welcome to the show. Uh, we've, we've, we've all made mugs for each other. We didn't think to make one for you, I apologise. What, what would you have on a mug, uh, if you would? Um, well, the thing that always annoyed me is, you know, you know when you're at work or, you know, wherever, and you've got a mug, yep. but it's in the cupboard and other people use it? Yep. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so... So I'd have some, I'd write something on the cup that would stop people from uh, using it. I don't know, something like um, sometimes I keep urine in this mug. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, what would you? Put oh, would on... that be true? Uh, yeah, Wednesday's first. <laughs> <laughs> what would you put on a fifty p coin if you had the chance? Uh, a nipple. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I just never find them... I don't, I've never found um, 50 peas that sexy. <laughs> right. They need sexing up, don't they? Um, um, did you celebrate the end of austerity at all this week? Did I? Uh, yeah, well, whenever I'm a bit flush, whenever I've got a bit of, you know, moolah, I'll, uh, I'll treat myself to a chicken Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, I've been told you've got a 50p coin with you, is that right? Well, yeah... Was this... Yeah, it sort of coincided... Right, yeah. <laughs> I have been leaving mess... Like, at basically putting messages on 50p's for quite a while. Um, because, basically, I, I, I leave messages for my... Um, the news agent that I fancy. And uh, I leave little messages on yeah. um, mm -hmm. 50p's for her that I had it over in the Russia um, when I'm buying a Twix. And they asked me to bring one in, so uh, so this is 50p and it comes with a little... Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, and then... Oh, this one, and they're different every time. This is an old one. Uh, it just says, Dear Linda Smart. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know her surname, so I just made it up. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for selling me a Twix. Um, every day for the last 26 years. <laughs> She's 72, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, you, have, you have a lovely smile and a superb knuckles. <laughs> um, fancy going to the cinema one evening or for a short walk near your house. <laughs> That's beautiful. So, uh, hasn't worked yet. Um, but, yeah, keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> now, look, what was interesting about austerity this week is that some people are saying that the government didn't really need to go as far as they did with mm. austerity, because not every other country responded to the global financial crisis in the same way. Australia, for instance, in 2009, the Australian government uh, basically gave $900 to every single person in Australia and said, go out and spend it on a, uh, on a local business somewhere. And that kind of... It, it made people actually put money back into the economy. So That's a good idea. What would, you, would you have, what would you have spent your money on if you I were giving... I reckon... Thing is, I, I just go straight to Lush, buy a grand's worth of bath bombs, just put them all in one bath just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and which would be good for Lush, so it actually would be good for Lush. local business, Lush. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what would you spend your money on? How much have I got? Thousand, thousand pounds. Um, thousand pounds. Probably uh, a sit on lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I haven't got a garden, um, <laughs> but I well shouldn't probably say this on telly, but I'm actually the um, I'm actually the fellow that does crop circles. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm basically fed up with doing it with a fly mo. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, can we cut that? Can we edit that? There was bad news for WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks martyr Julian Assange this week as an Ecuadorian <coughs> judge said he had to start obeying a new set of rules if he's allowed to stay in their embassy. They include paying for his own food and laundry bills, cleaning up after himself and his cat, uh, and they're also apparently sick of him skateboarding and playing football in the residence. Who's he playing football with? <laughs> the cat? <laughs> <laughs> Very possibly. Was skateboarding one of them? Yes. 
Have I got the wrong bloke? Is it <laughs> Dennis the Menace? Who's <laughs> Julian Assange? What would you do if you were on your own in the Ecuadorian embassy, Joe? What wouldn't I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably just play the uh, the penguin game. What's the penguin game? What's that? Do you not know the penguin game? No. Yeah. This is a wind up. What, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't know. What's the penguin game? Penguin game, um, it's, it's really simple. You just see how long you can go without thinking about a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Did... <laughs> I've just lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking about a penguin, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. out. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people think this might be a ploy by the Ecuadorian <laughs> government to make Julian Assange feel so uncomfortable that he has to leave. And let's be honest, he's been in there so long, there's marks against the door to measure how tall he's getting. <laughs> Joe, did you celebrate Halloween? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Adam. Uh, looming out the dark and scaring people is a bit of a busman's holiday for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, in other Halloween related news, a woman appeared on this morning this week claiming she has got engaged to a ghost. Oh. She apparently met him on holiday in Australia, felt his presence on the flight back home, and even joined the Mile High Club with him. <laughs> he has since proposed, and she now wants to baby with her ghost fiance, saying most of her friends are very happy for her. Question. Yeah. Why do you need to go on a plane if you're a ghost? You can fly. If she joined the Mile High Club, that must have been tense when she flushed the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I love this story, mate. I, I know, this is your favourite story of the week, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love the fact that she said he didn't get down on one knee when he proposed to her because he doesn't have any knees. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be organising a hen's night. Where's the stripper? He's over there, you can't see him. <laughs> I reckon he's the one who's been playing football with Julian Assange. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe, do you believe in poltergeist and ghosts? Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. I um, Really? Yeah, I really do. So much so that I actually um, sometimes practice being a ghost myself. Um, <laughs> just in case it's what we do next, and I don't want to be shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your practice involved? Uh, just basically at night, I stand at the end of my flatmate's bed while he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if he wakes up and starts shouting, oh, you know, I'm going to move out, I'm going to move out, um, in a really ghostly voice, I just say, you can't just move out. <laughs> you have to give a month's notice. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you lose your deposit. <laughs> and then I knock his lamp over. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>